A woman was safe from her alleged abuser for several months while he sat in a Nashville jail. But after his release, police say he got to his ex-girlfriend undetected and killed her. Metro's criminal court clerk's office already admitted a paperwork error that led to Bryson Rivers being released without a functioning ankle monitor. As News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry reports, bail bond companies tied to this case were called before Nashville's criminal court judges to get their side of what went wrong. Caitlin. At the start of the hearing, all six Davidson County judges made it clear that today's goal was to ensure the reliability of the bond companies, Brooks bail and on time bonding and to determine the facts of the release. Similarly to Lauren Johansson's father, Dr. Lance Johansson told News 2 today is about getting to the truth, no matter how painful. Dr. Johansson says today he has heard of the many cracks in the judicial system in Nashville. He added that it has failed him and his family. Taking the stand so far today has been employees with Brooks Bail Bond, on time bonding the owner of the ankle monitor company and an employee with the criminal court clerk's office. A common complaint from testifying parties seems to say the jail did not follow protocol in releasing Rivers without a bond agent present, and the court did not provide the circumstances of Rivers' release. And uh, I don't think it's fair to say, you know, I'm complacent and letting somebody be in violation of their bond and their agreement. And now we all know there's a state law that says you have to turn that person over, and it, it didn't happen. So that's a real problem for, for me and my family because we felt like with so many different errors that occurred that at some point, just one thing went our way, she'd still be here today. The hearing ended with Dr. Johansson saying the judicial system should have stood up and protected his daughter. Haley.